I hope you all had the nerve to ride through the first month and a half of this year when the stock market was in a free fall. Uh, it looked really bleak, didn't it? We'd seen the Dow get down to around 15,000, 15, okay? And um, I'm, not, I, I'm trying to think back and remember what it was that made everybody so nervous. Uh, I, I guess it was because the Fed was going to raise short-term interest rates. That was the big problem. And, of course, China was about ready to fall off the face of the earth, okay? Uh, it was, it was going to be the collapse of the second greatest economy in the world, okay? Just boom, done, through, okay? Well, the Fed hasn't raised interest rates, and it doesn't look like they're going to raise interest rates anytime soon. And China seems to be bumping along okay and, and doing, doing fine, and it'll, it'll do what China does. It'll, it'll be fine. And when you've got a country of three billion people, you know, it's a lot of consumers out there, and so it, it'll be just fine. And then, and I think, the, I think the interest rate thing was really the, the linchpin because when the Fed in December did begin that process of raising short-term interest rates, they said, uh, Janet Yellen and her team said, we will probably raise short-term interest rates four times in 2016. Well, they haven't raised interest rates yet, and as a matter of fact, at the last meeting they said, we'll probably raise interest rates twice this year. And uh, by the time December rolls around, we'll have realized they didn't raise interest rates at all this year. And so the, 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 the bad news out of all of this is as much as San Diego County Credit Union would dearly love to be paying you folks 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12% on their CDs, they would love to be doing that. They can't. They just can't. We live in a 1% world. That's what it comes down to. We live in a 1% world if you're looking at interest-bearing vehicles. Anything above and beyond that, despite what the people selling you the products might say, involves a certain amount of risk. I go to the website uh, for the Securities and Exchange Commission all the time, and uh, it's sec.gov. You all should go there periodically. You don't, you don't have to do it like as much as I do. Uh, but it's, it's a, a, a place where you can find out what are the latest scams, frauds, and ripoffs that people are, are running out there. And there's a lot of things going on. There's two ways you can do it. We got the home page up there. What they're going to do with these reports is give you all the information you need to make a smart decision as to whether or not an annuity is right for you. Whether it's a variable annuity, a fixed annuity, an indexed annuity, you'll get a, you'll, when you open this thing up and get a, the full one exposed, you'll be able to, uh, to get a, a tremendous amount of information there. And they have, uh, between this website and the FINRA, Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, they've got a ton of, uh, of these types of bulletins and alerts that uh, are, are educational, simple as that, they are educational. They're not saying do this, don't do that, but they're there to give you some clues about, uh, about making uh, a smart decision for various types of investments. And there's other ones that are in there about the, the warnings of what's going to, wh what you should know if you're, for instance, a bond investor, and we do start to see interest rates go up dramatically. What's that going to do to your investment? And how do you protect yourself from uh, potential market losses 